before we get into this video please subscribe to my channel click the bell notification button and please like this video as well hello everybody welcome back to my channel as you guys have seen by the title of today's video today i will be filming a huge fake designer collection for you guys because the amount of comments i have had on my fova and dh gate hauls is crazy like everybody has been asking to show me their fake designer like stuff like everything that i bought off for the rdhk in one video so that's what i will be doing for you guys because honestly i am obsessed with like for the rdhk and you know why i like it because all the items on there are cheap and i am a student i cannot afford to buy the real design items because I only work part time, I go to college, you know what I mean? So I thought that I would kind of show you guys a huge collection of everything all together in one video and before I get into this video in no way am I trying to brag or boast, obviously all these items are fake and I do know a few people will get a bit annoyed about it. A lot of the fake design items are made in factories where they underpay people and I am aware of that. I do try to shop smartly on these apps and I do buy off a lot of good sellers who are mainly based in the UK as well on that app and obviously all these items in this video I bought with my own money, I work hard as you will all be able to see from this video you'll be able to tell that I do love to spend my money on fake design items because as I said before I can't afford a lot of the real items because to be honest a lot of the real designer items now I think I went on the Louis Vuitton website the other day and I saw a handbag that I liked and I was like oh my god it's so pretty it was like two grand I was like I cannot afford that <laughs> but yeah but anyway I will now go ahead and show you my fake design items because I am so excited to film this video but yeah without further ado let's go on with the video right here so the first item I think I will show you guys is something that I do love a lot and it's such a handy item like it is the just a brilliant thing to have if you want to buy off the fake designer items no off the fake designer apps I mean oh my god like I feel as if I can't talk today it's so bad but yeah but anyway um so firstly oh my god it's so heavy I have a Louis Vuitton Neverfull handbag I use this as a college bag because it is the most spacious most handiest handbag to ever have like it is so big there's so much space in here you can make it smaller or larger on these sides which I think is so good I bought this on Fova for around £21 um, I used to have like a Damia print of this that I bought on holiday a few years ago however the handles are breaking on it so I needed a new one for college obviously because you know I need to take like a pencil case with me like a load of books and this is a perfect handbag for that um, it is a monogram print one obviously and you know to be honest I think from afar it does look really real however if you look closely the stitching is like a yellow colour and it looks super fake and also the handles are breaking the red lining is coming up already and the, ha the handle is actually splitting in half right now I've had this handbag for like a couple of months now so it's been okay for a fake design handbag it isn't my favourite um, as the quality it's not as good as the other handbags I've ordered off over but overall it is a handy handbag for college it is my final year of college now like oh my god three years at college like wow now speaking of Louis Vuitton there is another item which is honestly I think I've probably had this item for like nine months now and I'm still obsessed with it like it's such a like a great thing to have it is a monogram purse this is like a long purse and it is the best purse I've ever had like in my whole entire life and I'm not even exaggerating like firstly it is the monogram print and it looks so real like um on the back it's upside down and and on all of the real um, Louis Vuitton items on the back of the bags and the purses the print is upside down as they use like 
the full side of the, of the leather print if you know what I mean but yeah anyway I got this in a red interior so the button is red and inside it has made in France in there and I have my bank card and my driving license in there because those are, are the two things I need, to, I need to take with me everywhere but honestly it has a load of card holders and like a coin purse inside and then there's like another bit there and also another bit in there and in there as well actually wow there's actually so much space in this purse but yes so I, I've had this for almost a year now and I, I'll take this everywhere it's the most handiest purse ever you can store everything in, the, in here and it also also goes with my handbag as well so I think it's a cute um, combo together really and now next up this is probably my most favourite things I've ever bought these are the best fake designer fakes I have seen everywhere like these are literally my favourite things ever I literally wear these all the time are you ready to see these? here are my favourite Balenciagas the triple S ones they're in a white no they're in a pink black and white and I've had these for almost a year as well these trainers they are the best fake designer Balenciagas on the market I want to buy like a whitish pair and the person who I bought them from they don't actually sell them anymore because Forva has taken off a lot of fake designer items on there at the minute which is super annoying but yes like I have not been able to order another pair because I, really, because I really wanted to get them in a white pair because these ones here I literally wear them all the time firstly so weighty and I don't own a real pair obviously because like the real pair are like £660 which is way out of my price range for a pair of trainers but these were like £50 and these trainers are weighty trainers and I am a skinny person however they really suit me and I love them so much like inside um, it has caught a lot of the fluff off my trainers however it doesn't bother me really the logo is perfect it actually says Balenciaga on there and the lace is perfect it even has the triple S um, the only thing I will say is as I have had them for a while the material has started to fray a little bit on there however overall they're still in excellent condition and if you guys are after like a fake pair of Balenciagas I recommend that firstly you have a look at all the photo reviews before ordering a pair because I've had a look at some pairs and some of them look super fake and then other ones are super real so have a look you need to compare them to other sellers as well on there but these are some great trainers and I want to order another pair hopefully in the white because yeah but honestly I love these trainers and they also go with everything as well they're so good right so Next up in my collection I have a few clothing items so I'll just get them. So firstly I have a Machino t-shirt so I have ordered a couple of clothing items on Fova and another thing I'll show you in a minute did not look up to its expectations when it arrived however this one here is a Machino t-shirt. This t-shirt is such a super great designer dupe. It has um, a proper logo in there, a Michino Couture logo which I think makes it look so real and then it has the right in a picture of a bear and then this bit here, I think it's, quite, it's quite hard to show but in here it's actually like stitched in so the, like, the makers of this have obviously put a lot of time into making this t-shirt you know as I've made a logo which I think is impressive and then you know the stitching as well and the quality of the t-shirt is like so thick like it's such a great t-shirt I think I bought this off over for like £12 maybe but I love this a lot and I have worn this a lot like it a lot and it's really nice so it's the first t-shirt in my collection and next one I think this item was one of the first things I ever ordered on Vova and I won't lie to you I wasn't really experienced with Vova at the time so this one you can tell it's fake the quality of it is rubbish it is a Fendi t-shirt 
I want this one and then the logo like all like came apart in the t-shirt it was like six pounds but on the model it looks so good and you know what I will not lie I didn't even have a look at the photo reviews so it came and I was a bit like this looks awful compared to the model but it was my own fault really so I, I could not blame anyone else for it but yeah so like it's a Fendi t-shirt it is tiny like I remember I tried it on and it was so tight um, I, I had done only one it once and as you can tell it is a really cheap t-shirt they basically like a printed Fendi logo on the t-shirt and then sold it so it is pretty cheap and I'll say it is my least favourite fake designer item because as you can tell it looks very fake and the writings all came off it now so yeah I recommend if you want to order off over or anywhere else always have a look for photo reviews before ordering because you know most of the time a lot of them do look really fake and I should have known that when I first made the order on there Oops. Right, next up, oh this is really hard, I'm trying to think what to show you. Next up I have something which I will say again is probably another fave of mine. It is a Christian Dior handbag, yes there are some amazing dupes of Dior handbags on there like I think this only came out a good four or five months ago now but when I saw this I was honestly gobsmacked like so this is a dupe for the mini Lady Dior handbag I believe um, this is in like a nude colour they did sell this in nude pink black and red or grey or something like that I think but I thought I would order the nude because it will be able to go with a lot of outfits and I'm happy I did choose a nude firstly on the outside interior it is so soft like it actually like has a leathery smell to it like really like yeah and I've had this handbag for a long time now Um, it has the CD engraved on the handles it isn't it even um, has the key rings to go with it and the logo engraved on the bottom there and if you open it up like the whole interior says Dior and this part of the handbag is where I was super impressed um because like if you order a fake designer handbag they don't really care about the interior of the handbag because they usually focus more like on the exterior but with this handbag they did both they focused on the exterior and the interior the interior is looks so luxurious it says they go all around like in inside it would be quite hard to show because it didn't open wide but this handbag is my ultimate favorite um I rarely take it out as I want to look after it and I only take it out um, if I'm going for like a meal or wherever or like I don't know like a posh place it's if I go to posh places but you know what I mean um, it is really nice so I bought this for £45 so I definitely paid for the quality of this handbag this is my baby hopefully I'll have this for a long time even though it is a fake I do believe it is um, a real handbag in a way because the quality for a fit designer handbag like this one is unbelievable but yeah this is super pretty and oh my god the quality I cannot get over like I've had this for ages and like every time I pick it up I still obsess over it like it's super lovely so next up I have a hat because you know in the autumn winter time it does get a lot colder especially in the UK like you know it gets really cold and I do walk a lot to college and everywhere so you know when I'm out and about I need to cover up so I do have a Canada Goose bobble hat honestly right I didn't even know that places sold fake Canada Goose things because I saw this and I was like no way like it'll look like super fake however I had a look in the photo reviews super real Um, I think I've had this for almost a year as well now and I took this to Manchester and I did get a lot of compliments on it. It is super nice and oh my god it's super warm. Like I wore this um, the other day. I went um, on a camping trip 
and this kept my head super warm, like it's so nice. Um, wait a minute, I'm just trying to turn it around, but yeah. So I bought this for like around £20, so obviously it is a little bit more on the pricier side of things in fake designer land, if you want to call it that. Um, but I'm happy I bought this because firstly it's black, like it goes with everything. This hat goes with my black jacket. Um, so I love this a lot. Oh, and my hair's probably all over the place now. But yeah, I love this hat a lot because it keeps your head warm and it, it, honestly, it looks so real. Like the logo is perfect as well. Um, and oh my God, this is fake fur as well, by the way. But it's super soft and like, oh my God, it's like so cute. But yeah, <laughs> I'm excited over a hat. How sad am I? Right, next up, I will show you something else. Oh my god, I literally have so much fit designer items that like, I just, I'm so excited to show you. Right, so something which I've had for a while, which I honestly can't believe how cheap it was for what it is. Like, it cheap baffles me. I apologise. The card was full on, on my SD card, so I had to like sort it out because it turns out it has so many files on there. But anyway, um, so you get, um, so... I've had this Tommy Hilfiger watch for almost a year and I bought it as I, th I thought it looked nice um, it is like a copper colour and I wanted it to match my jewellery because these earrings and this necklace are copper so I thought to go with them and it does so the price was so cheap and I ordered it and I thought oh my god it will break on me even a couple of weeks however it's lasted me I wear this for work most of the time and it works so well Um I've had to change it a few times however it still works like amazingly well for what it is if you guys ever want to order a watch on Volvo I recommend it because it's super good and it has lasted me a long time honestly I'm obsessed with it talking about the side of jewellery things oh my god everything's falling off me I did I did get a pair of the Tiffany earrings Um I've had these for ages now and I love them so much, like the quality of them is so good and I think I bought these for like £2.50, I love them so much and it says like, please return to Tiffany & Co and it is honestly engraved perfectly, the sizing is lovely, they are so good and then another pair of earrings that I've got, if I can find them, are a pair of these Gucci um, like pearl dangly earrings I bought these um, like for going out with I think I bought them on my birthday actually and I really like honestly I love them they're so nice and these were around four pounds I think but the G is perfect on them and I'll happily wear these again as well the only thing with fake earrings is they can often irritate your ears so you need to be careful with that but yeah I love these a lot and then I do have a Louis Vuitton bracelet. It actually came in the box. The box looks super real. Um, it is like a monogram one, and I've compared this to the real like one, and like the print is the same. The LV engravement on the bracelet is the same. Like the interior of the orange, and like the buttons are the same as well. So I think I bought this for like. £18 I think, some more on the pricey side again, but it's super worth it and I have worn this a few times and it, the box inside is lovely. And then I also have a pair of Dior earrings. The reason why I have not taken a top of these is because these are huge. I recommend if, you're all, if you want to order a fake pair of sunglasses that you get the dimensions of them. Um, especially if you have a small face because if you have a small face like me and you order them they will look like this on your face I literally have turned into a beetle like look at the size of the frames on these these look massive I'm just going to look in the mirror they are so big like I, I I do not suit these at all but the word Dior and the quality of these are really good like the handles close really well and it's even engraved on the side and these were £6 again but yeah um, I think if I was to get a pair of designer sunglasses I would have to get like a real pair because the only f thing with fake ones is they often break easily and they are far too big for small faces so yeah 
I've learned a lesson there, definitely. I have some more items. Honestly, I can't believe how many fake sign items I've got. So next up, I do have black handbag. I forgot the proper name of this. I've had this for like six months, I think. And this is the most greatest handbag I've had. It's basically like a purse on a on a chain as it has like a card holder inside and then like a pouch for coins or like your, your keys and stuff. This was around £20 and I wear this all the time. I ordered it in a black because I it'll be able to go like with all my outfits because because they did sell this in like a ready colour like a pinky colour but the black was really nice and I have worn this handbag a lot and here is another of my faves. The quality is so good and like the logo is perfect again and on the back of course it goes upside down which makes it look even more authentic so I do love this bag a lot and then um, a couple of weeks ago I did order off off the other site called DHG and I got it in a Damia print honestly same again it's perfect interior inside it um it has got like the cart holders and like the coin purse inside so these two are really handy handbags and I love them a lot and they're so cute as well I love them wait a minute I can't even hold them up my arms like stretching but they're so nice and honestly I wear these two handbags all the time because they're just easy handbags to take out with you and then also I have a mini purse I will say the pinky colour on this is so fa fake as I compared it um, to the real purse of this and the pink is a lot more of like a lighter baby pink but I love this a lot um, it's handy for putting in a smaller handbag if there isn't much space so you open it up and obviously you know, you open it outwards and it has got a load of card holders and a place to keep all your cash in there but as you guys can see I do not have any cash because I am skint right now. But yeah, um, in here I have a boots card and a, a super drug card. But yeah, um, here is a really cute purse and I have I use this a lot to keep in my smaller handbags. If you move on to fake designer belts, I have got a few here. However, if you are a petite person and you're quite like short and small, these belts will definitely be too big for you. Like. I've ordered a Louis Vuitton one um, and I've tried it on and I would have to make a hole in it but um, it's monogram and it's pink inside and this is in the size 100 I believe but yeah um, it is too big. I also have a Gucci one, you can tell um, he's fake because the logo on this one is massive like I have had this on a few times and the logo is such a ridiculous size for like a belt but yeah um, and it smells disgusting of like damp like it's like oh and also it is like a flimsy belt like look at that so flimsy and then I do have another one which is my favorite like and I mean this like my favorite belt I've ordered off over it is a Gucci one it, it did come in like a dust bag which I think is really like you know bougie and it has the logo on there it is correct however I've noticed that the gold has came off it a little bit, which is kind of annoying. I have had this almost a year, so, you know, it's fine. You need to be careful if you want to order any belts and vulva, because, it, because if you are a petite person, you, you will have to make a hole in them, um, because the sizes of fake designer belts are massive. If we're moving on to scarves, I do have quite a few, because they're really handy to have, and the scarves on vulva, I would say, they are some of the the best things to buy off over because they are just honestly unreal. They're black and silver, however it is a reversible one so here's the front wheel of it and then here is the back wheel of it. Like how cool is it? And I've, I have worn this a lot and it's super nice. Um, I do also have this in a grey colour as well and these scarves keep you so warm in the winter like they are so good. I also have a Gucci scarf I bought this on Fover I think as well and it is like a pink and grey one. It is a reversible scarf, so nice and, and the logo on it is spot on as well which I love. Also has the writing on the bottom there, will it show? Super nice and I think I bought this for like £10 again but oh my god, like the quality of this scarf is super good. Like it's so soft, so warm, 
and I will be wearing this all the time this winter and autumn time because um, I haven't really had this one too long but I love it so much and it's super warm and I'm obsessed with this one as well like it's super lovely super soft and material is gorgeous so next up I have a Gucci bikini I ordered it for my holidays turns out it was too big for me but I ordered it in, in small it is like a pink and red one I tried it on but too big for me so I might sell this on Depop if anyone is interested it is like a bandeau one however I know a lot of people won't be going on holiday anytime soon really but yeah um, I ordered it, it was too big for me so I was upset but it is a lovely bikini it is a shame though every time I go on there I seem to order the Calvin Klein sets because I do have a slight obsession with them but it's fine because I do wear them a lot um, I have all these in almost every colour now like I have them in black this grey colour here like I think the grey is my favourite I've got them in like a navy and a red the only colours I need to get is the white and I think the pinky colour so I will be ordering some more as these are just grey and I literally have so many of these in my collection they are some of my favourite things ever these are a few of my favourite things sorry and next up I have a Gucci Soho handbag. I bought this on DHG for £14 and to be honest I was expecting it to be crap quality like shite basically but it's pretty good like the logo is so nice and I love the colour of it because I do not actually own a tan handbag but I do love this colour a lot it's super nice and the material is super soft and open it up it's like it has got like the Gucci logo inside super good quality Super good quality for £14, so I love this handbag a lot. I have only worn this a couple of times, I think, but it has been a good little handbag for, like, for keeping everything in there. And then finally, the two things in my collection which I love. Firstly, I have a toiletry, a toiletry pouch which I bought off Vova, I believe. I have not actually used this yet as... You know, I haven't had any chance to use it yet, but it's super nice inside. This is like a velvety material inside, super nice. I think I bought this for like £15, something like that, or a tenner maybe, I cannot remember. But I'll have to use this sometime soon, so I got that. And then the final thing in my collection, which I will have to say again, I do love this handbag a lot, and I've had this for, for quite a while now, and it is still handbag I do use on a weekly basis it is my Louis Vuitton re pouch bag it has a pink strap the mini bag the small bag and the larger bag and the chain I think I bought this for like 20 odd pounds 30 pounds the best 20 30 pounds I've ever spent the quality is amazing and I've had so honestly I've had a ton of compliments on this handbag as well but it, like it is such a cool handbag and these have been trending everywhere at the minute. They've been sold out in a lot of fit designer places. Super nice. And this is the final thing to complete my collection. So guys, here is the end of my fit designer collection. Honestly, all these items in here I absolutely love and I appreciate it so much. I honestly, I'm so grateful for the fit designer apps out there because they are lifesavers for us poor people out here but yeah um, I really hope that you guys have enjoyed if you have you know what to do make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below and please also subscribe to my channel because it is free and it just takes no time at all, at all to subscribe and I would honestly love to hit 4,000 subscribers by the 31st of October which is my birthday so please subscribe because it is my birthday wish this year to hit 4k subscribers honestly hopefully we'll be able to do it the time is running out please subscribe please i am boss all my fingers please subscribe but yeah i will see you all in my next video bye everybody